Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Birdcatcher and this is Dust. We are currently on the Dust to Dust quest where we have no idea who we are and we must travel to the east with our companion Fidget to try and figure out just who we are. But first we're gonna pick up some wall chicken and I think that this might be not a secret but just progress. So we're gonna go ahead and go up and explore a little bit first because who knows there might be some goodies up there. So, we'll just continue to do the old-fashioned combos that have done me so good so far. If you remember last time I put my points into strength, so I guess maybe I'm committing myself to some sort of risky, powerful, this guy looks like a boss type of build. Actually, he died really simply, so I guess he's not exactly a boss. But, he certainly looked like he might be a boss. Maybe he's on his way to a quick promotion from little underling to... Big scary boss man. So we're just gonna travel up this hill and see what lies ahead of us. I'm starting to think that maybe this is actually the correct way to go and that downwards is a secret. So we're gonna go ahead and look for treasure and quests and all sorts of goodies because that's what this game is all about, right? Is discovering goodies. So we're gonna quickly Hop back down. Ah, ah, okay, I don't have any keys, but maybe there's a key right here. Ah, there, this was the secret path, okay. Well, if I had just stuck with it for about three seconds longer, I guess I would have figured it out. So, we'll just see what's in this. Oh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Down, left, down, down, up. Simple enough. Oh, look at all those goodies. Oh, and tasty cupcakes. I don't quite know what those are for, but I guess we'll find out. We can check really quickly if they're a inventory. Yes, they're an inventory item. So, yeah, they're just a decent enough healing item. I don't think that there are any sort of quest materials. No, no quest materials picked up. So that's just a happy little treasure chest full of, full of wonderful little foodstuffs for Fidget and I. And actually, the, speaking of food, foodstuffs, if you go to the Steam trading card things, there's a, the, a fidget card where it's her chasing after a cupcake, and it says fidget chasing after her one true love, and it's pretty funny. <laughs> Maybe I'll post up a link to that in the description, if I remember to do it. So we might, this is it, there's a flag right here. I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all of my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. Digging me sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. Well, we're not going to do that because secrets! There might be secrets everywhere. Well, I guess there's probably not any secrets. Okay, so just a guy who is chilling out, enjoying his day. And now he's dead. It look, can we go up? It looks like there's an overhang there. Oh well. So perhaps we know where this or what this village is. Cool little shrine. I don't. I can't save my games for some reason lately. So I guess I'm locked in and I have to be committed to this life. Luckily, I have mysterious wall chicken and cupcakes to help me out. One thing I've noticed is that for some reason the sword is animated in 3D. I don't know which software, just kind of any old software maybe, but it might be Blender or something to that effect. Ooh, nice. Let's go ahead and put that into attack. So I, I'm curious as to why the sword is for some reason animated in 3D, while as, whereas the other characters are all animated in traditional 2D. I'm not bringing it up as a critical point. 
But I think that it might have something to do with the kind of special smoky particle effect that the door has. I'm going to travel downwards because it looks like to the right is progress, and I'm not ever a fan of making progress when there's potential secrets abounding. Because why should I be? Maybe I'll find some of Fidget's crazy navigational devices. Or a new sword. One that's bigger and doesn't doesn't talk to me so often. Oh, 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 that must be a secret up there, because if it's at the bottom, then... Yes, okay, I understand. This crazy little mixed-up secretive game. So we're gonna, once again, because I was impatient, have to journey up a, la a little ways, and go back here to the right to break down this crumbly, crackly wall and see... Oh, it's like a little bunny glade. Oh, keys, keys. Two of them. Sweet. Excellent. Later's buns. I got business to take care of. So... I'm just gonna cut. And we're back into the thick of things. So, we're about to find out what exactly is going on. Because maybe we will remember the village that we're getting slightly, slowly closer and closer to. I wonder, maybe these guys live in the village and we're just terrorizing an innocent village full of gnolls. Or if, or if they're actually bandits after all and they've completely decimated a small town. Could be. Either way, I think I saw the hints of a building. Nope. Well, maybe the village is a little bit further. <laughs> All right. And just keep on doing our thing. That's a quest item right there. I don't know what it is, but oh, I think I saw another material too. Ah, another ability. Well, let's just take care of this guy first. And aerial dust storm. Hold right mid jump to fly through the air and target enemies from afar. Whoa. Neat! Can I combine it? Nice! Oh, okay. Now Dust Storm's looking pretty good. Look at that. We just can... Oh, we can get him through here easily enough. Watch out for my little evil fireflies of death of the fidget, fidgety Dust Storm. I think that this might be really, really useful if I have a high vantage point to jump over the enemies like this and then dust storm down and I'm like like a, a dive bomber or something. Oops. Launch then do that. Oh, it... Oh, okay. There it goes. Excellent. I do feel like like I'm I'm a, in a B-52 bomber or something like... <laughs> Ah. Well, with that momentary lapse into eight-year-old dumb, let's continue onwards with killing things and murdering all sorts of innocent animals. I think that when those... When time kind of gets really slowed down for a second and it goes... Boom, it means that I've parried an attack. Oops. Okay. Is there... Oh, oh wow. Dust can jump really high all of a sudden. <laughs> There's got to be a secret in this area, because I saw Fidgeko secret. So we're going to go ahead and just dive bomb our way past everyone. Oh, the secret was probably the ability. Okay, well, at any rate, let's just grind up some experience then. So we're going to... Just take care of them all with our newfound ability to be extremely annoying from afar. Well... That's why I Let's Play, is because I like to hear myself talk and make sound effects and whatnot. <laughs> Although, a cardinal rule of Let's Playing is that commentary does not boil down to just making random sound effects. Like, that's one of the things I try to avoid a lot when I'm doing my commentary, is just going like, Oh, I got hit. Uh, I just gotta, just gotta shoot this guy and uh, he's gonna get on the other side of me. No, that's really boring. And... And I try to provide hours of the most entertaining and informative and whoa, that was cool content. I gotta figure out what combo that was because that was cool. I think it was like that, that, and then, uh, whatever. It was, it was cool. 
I'll try to maybe watch this in some sort of replay action and figure it out. Right, because because she didn't do the treasure thing when I got up here. Yes, it's only she does it only when you enter the level for the very first time. Well, I have some keys. Let's do this. Up, up, left, down, up, right. More fruits and veggies and ooh, something explosive should do the trick. Hmm, okay. So I need to find some explosives. Got it. Easy enough. Is that a tent? Is there somebody in there? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's got glowing evil eyes of evil. A merchant lies in wait. Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. Psh, I wasn't frightened. Just surprised. At the, uh, savings. Come on, let's talk to him. It's like Sweet Pro and Helen Jeff. Like, I can't enter anything anymore. What is this? I, my W key does not work anymore. I can't save nor enter shops. Oh, this is extremely problematic. No, don't jiggy upwards. I need to enter. Well... While I figure out my keyboard situation, I figure that this is a good a time as any to end this video. So next time, we will actually enter this shop and figure out what's going on. Thank you for watching.